special inspiration. So I've chosen this piece of scrapbooking paper and it's actually got this, it's meant to, it was a big piece that looked like a, some sort of film. There's this exposure there so I thought that would be good because we've got to add a photograph as part of this one. So I'm just grabbing some washi tape to begin with. So that's the first prompt, paper, strips or washi. So since we have a ton of washi, let's use that. Let's just go for that, shall we? Get this dark pink now. Go for pink um, and you will see that later. bit of matte medium on the bottom. Is this open? Oh yes. It's a new bowl so I'll just check when it's open. And let's grab a brush. Let's see. Uh, this one I don't need to wash but it's okay. <coughs> stick some washi tape down in strips. <laughs> Just go for it. This one was definitely losing it sticky. Mm, more of a peachy tone, so I'll leave that. That might be a bit busy. Let's just stick with these three. Bit of a background. A bit more washing on that uh, washing that medium on top. Seal it in. Water. <coughs> and the next prompt is a layer of paint or gesso. So we'll go with gesso. <laughs> Sorry. Now then. I'm going to do that while it's still wet. I don't want like a full coverage. I don't want that pink to show through, so. Just a light layer.
washi brush stroke shiny at the moment so you can't really see it but there we go right <clears throat> what's the next step paper or fabric shapes hmm I may have to think about that one so whilst that's drying I'll think about it and I'll be back okay so for my shapes, I'm going to use these. They're not paper or, fa or fabric, but they're shapes. And there is a reason. And I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'm just going to dot these around the way around. Just using Elm's glue for speed. Little ones as well. I'm sure I had more than that, but anyway, they got to. Probably blew them across the room when I was doing my heat tool. So I'm not gonna, oh, I can see it. Move that one just on there because I think the photograph is gonna go about there. add some doodles. Does it say doodles or scribbles? Yep. So I'm going to take a black pen just to bring this black in. And I'm just going to... That's all I'm going to do. That's it. Next, illegible text around the page There we go. Uh, old photograph. Old photograph, right. So, not that old. It's taken in December. And I'm going to put it down a little bit. It's a photograph I printed off from my mum's scrapbook, but I kind of messed it up a little bit, so I cut that off. So this was taken at my mum's 60th birthday party, it was a surprise birthday party and that is my grandmother and she's dressed as a pink lady. We did sort of a 70s, 80s theme which is why my cousin is in the background just like that. So let's just trim it. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this. Let's use. Excuse the rustling. Photo glue. Not 
I don't know how long this will last, but because it's kind of meant to be repositionable, it'll do. Oh, it damaged the photo anyway, so. Yeah, so after she had her party, we did a scrapbook of photos and we got everybody to sign a little card say happy birthday and love you and all that kind of thing and we stuck those in there we go and what's the next thing drips and splashes Oof. okay Ooh. oh I have I have some nice magenta uh, Let's see if I can just grab it. Yeah. I do want to cover that photo now. <coughs> With something. Ooh. Gosh, strong waft of alcohol when I lift that lid off then. What have I got to cover that? I've got this Liquitex magenta. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And then the last thing is a stencil or two I'll move my own handwriting so we'll let that dry and then we'll come back with a stencil okay so I'm going to try this Kitsch Flamingo archival ink my magenta is still not dry so I've got to be careful what I'm doing if this isn't dark enough I can go in with the picked raspberry Oh, I think I'll be fine. Ooh. It's making the pen smudge. Interesting. Magenta off. Pop the lid there. a little more up there to balance out that big star there maybe no So I haven't really used any of the words for inspiration, um, which is fine. I don't usually go for those anyway. <coughs> but I do feel like... Now do I use things like 
this or something to remember. I think something to remember. I really need to use these up because they're such an amazing time. That's good as well. I'm going to use a bit of glue as well because these are losing the sticky a little. Let's go for it. Cut that bit off because it. Ripped it a little bit. But let's get this on. I think that'll do. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to pop today's date. Oh, let's just trim some of these ragged edges. Today, what is today? Just over there. Hmm. I feel like the black on this side is a little heavy, so I'm just gonna use this permanent marker. And just go around these two sides. to balance that a little bit. Maybe I like that. <clears throat> so, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that these videos have taken so long. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the new computer will make things a lot easier. Um, although, it is just having time to sit down and actually film sometimes, but there we go. That's what happens when you work, isn't it? <laughs> have to pay the bills. Okay, so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.